Did you know that permafrost holds more carbon than the atmosphere and all living plants combined? This frozen ground is a fascinating part of our Earth system, holding secrets from the past and playing a crucial role in our planet's future. Permafrost is ground that remains frozen for at least two consecutive years. It has an active layer on top that thaws during summer and refreezes in winter. Permafrost is subject to freeze-thaw cycles, which can cause the formation of unique features such as ice wedges. Ice wedges form when water seeps into cracks in the ground and freezes, expanding and creating polygon patterns on the surface. These ice wedges can grow over hundreds or thousands of years, creating a complex network of ice within the permafrost. So permafrost is found in Arctic regions, high altitudes, and some alpine areas, covering 24% of the Northern Hemisphere's land surface. It formed during past ice ages, accumulating organic matter over thousands of years. But the Arctic is warming at a rate three to five times faster than the global average, a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. This rapid warming has significant implications for the thawing of permafrost, as it accelerates the degradation of this frozen ground. And there's a variety of consequences associated with thawing of permafrost. First of all, permafrost leads to coastal and riverbank erosion. As the ice that binds the soil melts, it weakens the structure of the ground, making it more susceptible to erosion. This can result in the loss of land, alteration of coastlines, and changes in river courses. But in addition to this, permafrost thaw can destabilize buildings, roads, and pipelines. As the ground beneath these structures becomes unstable, it can cause foundations to shift, crack, or collapse. This leads to costly repairs and poses significant risk to communities in permafrost regions. Further, thawing permafrost can trigger landslides and ground subsidence. When the ice and permafrost melts, it can create unstable slopes prone to landslides. Additionally, the ground may sink or subside as the ice volume reduces, leading to uneven surfaces and potential hazards. And as someone who's driven on roads in permafrost affected areas, I can tell you firsthand that it feels like you're driving on a roller coaster in some of these areas. So permafrost thaw alters water drainage patterns that can lead to the formation of thermokarst lakes. As permafrost thaws, it can create depressions in the landscape where water accumulates, forming new lakes and altering local hydrology. These changes can impact ecosystems, water resources, and human activities in the region. But potentially most importantly, permafrost holds a vast amount of carbon, estimated at 1,500 gigatons, which is nearly twice the amount of carbon currently in the atmosphere. As permafrost thaws, this carbon can be released into the atmosphere in the form of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane. The release of this carbon is significant because it can create a positive feedback loop, where the released greenhouse gases contribute to further warming, leading to more permafrost thaw and more subsequent carbon release. And this process has the potential to accelerate climate change and its impacts on a global scale. Additionally, the thawing of permafrost can expose ancient organic matter to decomposition by microbes, which can further contribute to the release of greenhouse gases. The magnitude and timing of this carbon release are still uncertain and depend on factors such as the rate of permafrost thaw, soil moisture, and temperature conditions. So the future of permafrost is complex, and scientists are working diligently to better understand the various processes and feedbacks involved. They are studying the dynamics of permafrost thaw, including the rate at which it is occurring, the factors that influence it, and the potential impacts on ecosystems and communities. Researchers are also investigating the role of vegetation in permafrost regions, as thawing may lead to increased plant growth, which could partially offset some of the carbon losses. However, the net balance between carbon uptake by vegetation and carbon release from thawing permafrost is still hotly debated and remains uncertain. And to gain a more comprehensive understanding of permafrost, scientists are collaborating with indigenous peoples who have valuable traditional knowledge about these landscapes. Indigenous communities have lived in permafrost regions for generations and have a deep understanding of the land, its changes, 
and the impacts on their way of life. By combining scientific research with indigenous knowledge, scientists can develop a more holistic view of permafrost dynamics and work towards effective adaptation and mitigation strategies. So permafrost is a vital component of our Earth's system, and it's under threat from climate change. We must act now to mitigate global warming and protect these fragile regions. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.